What's up, y'all? My name is Devontae, and I sacrificed my time so you don't have to. So apparently, Ronda Rousey has a problem with Drew Gulak. I've yet to read the article. I don't know what's going on. I bet my life it's going to be something that you can go out of your way and you can easily explain because we live in an incredibly sensitive society nowadays. But you know what? You know what? Let me not say that. Let me not say that. Unlike Tony Khan, I'm willing to give this person the benefit of the doubt. Okay, Rhonda, explain away. This better be fucking good. Ronda Rousey says that she once confronted Drew Gulak after he grabbed the string on her sweatpants backstage in WWE. Rousey recounted the situation in an interview on News Nation when she was asked if she ever experienced any misconduct from Vince McMahon during her time in WWE. She said, and I quote, on if she ever experienced misconduct from McMahon, she said, not Vince personally towards me, but the company culture, definitely. One time I was waiting to go talk to Triple H in the writer's room. I was standing there with Bruce Pritchard and another one of the writers and, God, I forgot his name. I can't believe I forgot this guy's name. It'll come back to me. Anyway, I'm standing there and this guy that was like barely even an acquaintance with, uh, grabs the string of my sweatpants as I'm walking by. And nobody, like I wasn't even looking at him, but this guy grabs the string of my sweatpants and no one reacts as if this is abnormal. <laughs> what? He grabs it and starts going down the hall and I'm like, and I'm just like, what the fuck was that? Why are you grabbing the string of my sweatpants? If my husband was standing here next to me, would you feel comfortable walking up to me and grabbing the string of my sweatpants? And but and, but nobody around me acted as if it was abnormal. All the guys around me were just like it's part of the day. I'm like, if this what? I'm like, if this guy is coming up to me and doing this kind of stuff to where there are other people around and what's happening to these other girls when it's not in the hallway, that really put me on edge to where not only is this behavior prevalent, but it's also so prevalent that people don't even realize it's a problem anymore. On who it was and confronting them, Drew Gulak, that's who it was. I confronted him later and I was like, if I ever hear about you putting your hands on any other woman, goddamn tweets popped up, hang on for a second. Uh, If I ever hear about you putting your hands on any other woman like this or doing anything like this to me ever again, we're going to have a problem. He was like, no, no, no. I'm glad you said something to me. He really backpedaled, but it it put a sour taste in my mouth about the culture there and what's considered acceptable and how to touch and treat the women in the hallways and anywhere. Is that it? Is that is that it? I don't understand. I don't. That's it. That's really the fuck. Bruh. Bruh, so you mean, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're making a big deal out of this, folks. Oh, we're making a big deal out of this. We're making a big deal. See, this, oh my God, my head hurts. This is what happens when you give these type of people an inch. They run with it. And they take a mile. This is what happens when you give these people an inch. So you mean to tell me Drew McIntyre, excuse me, Drew McIntyre, excuse me, Drew Gulak, goofing around, grabbed your sweatpants as you were walking, playing around. It's pretty clear that's what he was doing, Rhonda. You're Ronda Rousey. It's a hallway. He probably seen your fucking sweatpants just dangling. No different than someone having their shoes untied and stepping on it and someone tripping. He probably just ribbed you in wrestling culture. He probably was just fucking goofing around with you. It's a fucking... I don't... I don't... I don't... So what... How do you actually engage with these people? How do you talk to these people? How do you live around these people? How do you even do anything around these people? It's not even to the point of sensitivity anymore. They're they're actively looking to be a victim. 
that is dangerous. That is absolutely fucking dangerous. When you're looking to be a martyr, when you're looking for any excuse to put yourself into a position to be a victim, that is so dangerous because you are willing to take the most innocuous things, the most minuscule things and blow it completely out of proportion if it means you can get the attention that you're seeking to put yourself into for everybody to look at you in that manner, minus the context, minus everything. Folks, I don't even have to be there to just look at the situation and think to myself that it's so fucking obvious that maybe her sweatpants were not tied. Drew McIntyre, or I keep saying McIntyre, Drew Gulak grabbed her pants, her 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 sweatpants thing. You can argue if you want to, oh, Devante, what is he doing grabbing it? They're all adults. Yes, it's childish, okay? Yes, I understand it's immature. I understand, okay, fine. If she didn't want her pants leg or whatever the fuck her shoelace thing grabbed, okay, fine. But to blow it to the extreme, to say that the culture and wrestling, this is how you treat your women or whatever the... How did you jump? What what are you talking about? You probably could have been a guy and he would have done the same thing. He was ribbing you. It's pretty clear that he was ribbing you. He was playing a joke on you. Why would he do anything serious to you in the hallway? It's Drew Gulak, meaning we're talking about post-2017 here, okay? In an era where social media and anything is everywhere. And you're Ronda Rousey. So I'm assuming this has to be like, what, 2018, around 2022, maybe even? Like, what are you talking about? What are you suggesting? That he wanted to pull your pants down and then take you right there in the fucking hallway? In the corridor? And yet, I'm going to go out of my way and people are going to be like, well, Devontae, are you condoning his actions? To a degree, yes. Yes, I am. It's a fucking prank, you... Oh, bro, it's a fucking prank. It's a joke. He's ribbing. He's a joke. He's joking. He is joking. If my husband was around, would you have done this? Probably, Probably it's a fucking joke. Like I said, it's no different than your shoelaces being untied and someone stepping on it and you tripping. How and what way and what way were you thinking that this was going to be a sexual assault in the middle of a fucking hallway? Are you fucking out of your mind? How and what fucking way do you take something like this and blow it completely out of proportion? No. No, you know the culture of professional wrestling that's starting to fester up its ugly head and what's really making everything worse right now at the moment? You know what's really making everything worse right now at the moment? It's people like Ronda Rousey being around. It's people with that mentality being around, not understanding the wrestling business. She comes from the outside world, right? And people are like, this is how you treat the women? No, that's how they treat the men also, okay? It's called wrestling culture as far as what they're doing. They even have a word for it. It's called fucking ribbing. This is what happens when you invite outsiders from the outside world into your world because they don't understand it. And then they take it and then blow it completely out of proportion to mean something that it definitely didn't mean, right? Right? I bet she would be offended if she were to go to a uh, wrestler's court. Oh, they're embarrassing me. Oh, they're antagonizing me. Oh, they're doing it. They, that's just the boys keeping themselves in check. But she wouldn't understand that. She probably would look at it and not even take it seriously. As a matter of fact, she probably would try to go run to administration and tattletale on all the boys for why they're putting her in this mean, mean position. And she happened to go to wrestler's court. You know what this does in the end of the day? Honest to God, you know what this does? It makes the outside world a little bit more contentious, if you will, for wrestlers, bringing them into the fold, wanting to make them a part of the culture, wanting to make them a part of the roster, embrace them, all that good kind of stuff. Because when you get fuckers like Ronda Rousey going around saying things like, this guy playing a joke on me, this right here perpetuates an environment for women that I feel is completely unsafe. And then on top of that, if it's even, it's not even just the fact that she has to pretend for a second there, like something actually was about to happen or something happened or wow, what a bad thing to happen to women because a guy grabbed your fucking sweatpants fucking string. Ignore all that for a second because that is the basis of the story. So just for a second, ignore that. The fact that Ronda Rousey, because of course, has to make herself look like she has to be the most biggest badass in the fucking world, just puts this completely over the top for me. 
So it's already bad enough that Ronda Rousey, according to her, was the savior of all fucking women. Miss Captain America over here, right? Now, she has to be a feminist badass walking up to his face. If you ever put your hands on another woman or me like that again, and then he backpedaled and he was like, no, 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 please don't beat me up, Miss Woman. Folks, this, this, this can't go on for too long. This kind of environment, this culture, this generation and their way of thinking, this can only go on for so long before somebody really, really starts to check their asses for real, bro. Because this right here ain't normal. This type of mentality, this type of thinking, the way you carry yourself, this shit, this shit ain't normal at all. That's no rational fucking human being with context will look at that and get so bent out of shape about it and then hold on to it for a while to name drop probably without any context whatsoever because i guarantee fucking to you if drew mcintyre like, damn it drew gulak he called him fucking mcintyre tells you how irrelevant he is if drew gulak would have fucking come out i guarantee he'll probably be like it was just a joke she walked by i seen her string hanging now and i grabbed it because i was trying to be funny in front of the boys and I guarantee you, even with that context, everybody online would jump. Why did you do it to a woman? Well, as a matter of fact, I guarantee you. Let's see. I bet you. I bet you. There are some comments already talking about this. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. I guarantee you. I don't care how much Ronda Rousey crafts on WWE. I still ain't forgetting about the voiceover. Jo what the fuck are you talking about, clown? Uh Oh, let's look at this. Of course. Let's look at... uh. Didn't uh, Denise Sicolo, 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 whatever her name is, I guarantee you, because she's one of these fightful, these 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 fightful justice warriors. Let's see what she says. Ronda Rousey accuses. De okay, well, oh, then, then okay. At least she didn't put her two sets into it. That's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, at least some of the comments. Oh, at least the comments. Okay, wow. Okay, great. The comments are actually. Thank God. Thank God. The comments are actually having a little bit of common sense i'm seeing people saying things like you know there are two sides to the story one guy says he grabbed the string of her sweatpants oh god crime of the century uh you know it says one person thank god someone says it you know it was meant to be a joke most likely everybody's like oh they're trying to cancel drew uh drew gulak oh god he's ribbing her oh man she doesn't understand a joke thank god Oh my god, Twitter's making sense. Now you know you're done fucked up, Ronda Rousey. Will you even have the Twitter justice warriors making sense? Oh my god. That's that's how you know. That's how you fucking know that the world has gone mad when cancel culture on Twitter is making sense. That Ronda Ronda, do you know how fucked up do you have to be? You know how fuck you know how much of a fucking clown you have to be to turn Twitter against you in this type of way with this type of rhetoric and this type of situation. So at least now I feel a little bit better about this. At least I know Drew Gulak finally got his name right. Won't be put into a position where hopefully he doesn't get in trouble, right? I hope that WWE does not take any action against this just because Ronda Rouse is said. Because here's what I'm thinking. If you let Ronda Rousey get away with this bullshit, it sets a precedent, right? It sets a precedent. And at that point, honestly, I'm just going to be quite frank with you. I'm just going to be honest with you. At that point, just stop hiring women. Honestly, just stop hiring women. If you can't even have a space for the boys to be the boys and joke around and be goofy, because that was obviously just a joke and him being goofy. I'm happy that everybody understands this. If she doesn't understand that, that's just going to set a precedent for anybody to just bring up anything. Maybe even go out of their way and do it retroactively. And probably be like five or six or ten years down the road that, hey, this guy did something to me about 20 years ago when Ronda Rossi said this 10 years after the fact. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do not take Ronda Rossi's side. I'm telling everybody. I'm pleading with everybody. Please do not take Ronda Rossi's side. Do not go out of your way to make Ronda Rousey seem as if she feel as if she is more bigger than what she actually is. Do not let Ronda Rousey actually feel as if she has all the power in the world. Because make no mistake about it, this is all just a power thing for Ronda Rousey. Also, this is all just a dynamic issue for Ronda Rousey. 
She does not give a fucking flying shit what happens with Drew Gulak. She does not give a flying shit about the situation that occurred that day because no situation fucking occurred. She blew it completely out of proportion. And I'm making this a longer video as an awareness for most people. We are tired of of your bullshit we are tired of your victimization and we are tired of using everything you can in your tool and your arsenal to look virtuous for whatever clout that you're starting to try to chase from whatever reasoning you are trying to chase that clout we're done we're done we are done of taking something incredibly fucking innocent and then using it against someone Without any context, we are tired of the lies, the me too, the believe all women. We are tired of taking situations without evidence, without context, without reasoning, and having it suggested and actually put out there that people run with it as if something actually fucking occurred. We are tired. And the pushback that I love, I, you gotta love to see, you love to see it. It's happening right now. We need to start instituting a culture where these people are held accountable for the things that they say. Right. Drew Gulak obviously was joking and Rhonda took it and she tried it to she tried to blow it completely out of proportion and ruin this guy's life. She tried to make it sound like he was a sexual deviant. She tried to make it sound like this guy was the worst person in the world for pulling on her fucking sweat pan string. Like, as if he was going to do something to her in the middle of the hallway in front of everybody. That's what she was trying to do. And we have plenty of women that act like a Ronda Rousey. That puts on an act like a Ronda Rousey. That pretends that what Ronda Rousey is currently saying at the moment is the gospel. And they've been through so much worse. Like, the one time a guy went out of his way and he accidentally bumped shoulders with a girl. And she had no jacket on. And he had no shirt on. So, therefore, skin to skin contact. So, therefore, sexual assault. Because his skin touched my skin. And I didn't get any consent from that. Like I said, I'm super duper duper happy no one bought into the bullshit it doesn't seem like anyone's buying into the bullshit we treat ronda rousey like the joke that she is because she is a clown ronda rousey is an outside just an absolute fucking circus of a human right treat her for what she is because that's what ronda rousey is with allegations like this suggestive allegations as if he did anything wrong because you so badly want to chase clouds because you so badly want to virtue signal absolutely that's just the way it is don't take these people seriously and never set a precedent stand up for drew gulak Stand up for all the wrestlers and what they do within their corner, within their space that Ronda Rousey simply doesn't get. And she misconstrues it and takes it out of context and uses it to benefit her career. Wouldn't even be surprised if she understood what she was doing. And she still said it anyways because it benefits her. Because it benefits her and it makes her look a lot better in the eyes of most people who actually care for that kind of shit. Because they themselves perpetually want to be victims. And I don't know if it has anything to do with Ronda Rousey's backstory. I don't know if she been through anything. God bless her. She did. But not like this. We're sick and tired of it. And you're not going to get away with it this time, Ronda. Not you. Not any other woman. Sorry. Don't know what to tell you. As always, my name is Devontae. And here I am again. Talking about another feminist blowing something completely out of proportion. Where have I heard that before? Be back later on tonight for the Dynamite stream. Deuces. P. Eyes. Oh, and by stream, I mean actual regular video, not stream. Okay? Okay, we're good.